Jeff back again with another classic rock song now you've been asking for this for some time I keep getting requests when you're gonna do some UFO well I did one some time ago it was an Iron Maiden song Doctor Doctor which is UFO so I, I take that box then but of course we want some true UFO here so of course it can only be rock bottom to start this journey through their songs I'm gonna show you all of the main links in this the solo, just such a long solo, it would take forever for me to go through that. It would take me forever for me to learn it, not only that, and then to teach you it. So I'm just looking at the main riffs just to get you going on this. Now, if this is the first time to this channel, hi, how you doing? Hope you're having a great time today. I know it's going to get better once you go through this lesson. And why not then take this opportunity, click on that subscribe button, click on that bell, that way you'll be notified whenever I'm posting any new material to the channel. And of course, you'll have my eternal gratitude as well. Anyway, enough of the talking. Let's get into this and let me show you how to play rock bottom. So don't go away. Preview. Right, let's have a look at that lick. I'll just play it through and then we'll break it down. Right, okay, we start half with an open E string. We're gonna hit that twice. Then we go across to the seven on the D string. Then we go back to an open E string. To five on the D string. Open E string. Then we got six and seven on the A string. Crossing over to the five on the D. Go back to an open E string. Then we're doing six and seven on the low E. Five on the A. Then we've got this seven on the A pulling off to five. To the seven on the E string. Finishing off with a low E. Put that all together. Now the next time round we don't play the two E's like we did at the beginning because we played that E from the previous verse that holds for the first one so we only play one so we're doing the same riff again we start off with an E to the 7 on the D open E 5 on the D open E again 6 and 7 on the A to the 5 on the D Back to the open E. Six and seven on the low E. Five on the A. Seven, five, pull off. To the seven on the E. And this time we're gonna cross over to the five on the D string. And what we try and do, we get a pinched harmonic if we can get them. Now, you're going to play that an awful lot, of course, through this song, backwards and forwards playing this. I have always found the hardest thing when I play this is to remember, am I going to an open E or am I going to the five when I play that? So I'm sure when you start doing this, you'll have the same thing. You start doubting which is the one you played last because it just keeps on going and going and going. Right, now then, let's go and look at the chorus section and how we play that. So I'll just play it through and then I'll break it down. So 
So what we're playing there, we are playing an E, sorry, a D chord, which we're just double stopping on the seventh fret. Now we play one open E string, and then we've got this. So we're going from a D to an E. So we get back to the E string, and we've got three chokes. Then we're going. Gonna play that three times. The first one though, only one E. And we go down to a C5 chord, to a B, to an A, and then we're gonna do a D to the E. So we get this. Now the final one, we do a C to B to an A. This time we just go to the D and hold there. And then we bang. riff again. So that's how we play the chorus section. Of course then we go back to our riff, it keeps on going and going back to another chorus. So that is the main core of the song. Now obviously this song is all about that long guitar solo at the end, but <clears throat> I'm just going to look at the main riff on this because that is a complete lesson entirely on itself, looking at all of them great riffs that Michael Schechner has done. Now, if I do get enough requests on this, I will go through the solo. We'll take some time to put it all together, but again, that's all if I get enough requests to do this. What we're gonna do though, we are gonna now look at what is being played behind the guitar solo. I'm just gonna play through the chords that build up to the start of the solo. And it goes like this. So I'm starting off on a C5 and we're playing the rhythm. Down to B5. Up to an E5. Up to a G5 on 10th fret. Down to a C5, and then to finish the cycle off on that B5, and then we go back and we repeat that whole section through. Now it plays through that, uh, I believe you're going to do that, a complete circuit of that, I believe that's two times, entire movement round and backwards and forwards. And then we're into this part. Now at this point we have a tempo change, it goes to 150 beats a minute and we're opening it like this. We're starting off on the E chord and we're going to get one, two, three, four. Going down to a D chord. One, two, three, four. So we're just moving back on the, what you get is uh, on the third one, you're going to get out. And then bang. And then the final one. And then we get this, which is just playing an E chord on the up beats. So we're going four, and one, two, three, four. And then we get this rhythm. That stays on that E chord for a long time. Then we 
have a section that moves between the E and the B minor, so we get this. So we're just playing the same rhythm. So I'm just moving between the 7th fret and the A string. To the B on the seventh string on the Louis. So it moves between that and if I remember rightly, you're going to be shifting between that, you're going to do that eight times and then it's back to the E. And from there, it goes back to the sequence. That B, uh, which is the C, D, G, C, M. Now at the end of the sequence we have this. Finishing it up on the E and then we do the goes back to so we play through the riff another eight times and then we play through an entire chorus again and then we hit the outro which goes like this Playing there, we're just on an E to a D, back to the E, then our usual, then we got another. So, what we're doing there, we start off on an E to a D, back to the E, then we've got that C, B, A, doing the D to the E. Then we got that again. D. Then we go back to an E and we do a so E to the D. And then we get this. We're doing a f uh, on the C to a D. And then back to the E and we get our usual kind of exit to a song. And that is the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Rock Bottom, classic song from UFO. I know a number of you have asked me to cover some UFO, and of course, this is probably one of the ultimate UFO songs with Michael Schechner playing great lines through this. Just a classic riff, so it is. Oh, don't forget, we've got the usual. I've got all the tablature that you'll need for that. So we'll just follow it through. Take your time with the riff. Chorus, they're relatively easy, but just have some fun. That's what it's all about. Anyway, I'm going to let you go for this week. Until the next time, this is Jeff wishing you well, and I'll speak to you again real soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>